Now the um, Insight Report page, uh, this is essentially the summary page. What we see here is for all the keywords, um, that we, our niche keywords that we've selected, uh, we see the domains available. Now again with our strategy, one of the elements to enable us to hit the, um, the first page of the search engines very quickly is to have an exact match of domain to keyword uh, so the kind of the search engine knows exactly that you know this this is exactly what this site is about is the keyword um, in, in question. So there's only potentially, as we see, it, eight possibilities if you have a keyword that has more than uh, one word. So for example, here's the first one here: trifold wallet. So the space between the two words can be either. Uh, in, in Google's eyes, uh, uh, a dash, if you like. So they see that as a space. So we could register the, the domain with the two words but together or with a dash there. And we're only ever interested in .coms, .net, .orgs, and .infos. And the reason for that is that every other domain really points to a more country-specific type, uh, which we don't want to do. So we want to be as generalized as possible. So we only focus on, on those four domain types. And here we see in our, um, our insight summary um, all the keywords we've chosen and all the various uh, data in terms of uh, ratings, etc. And we also see whether the domains are available or not. So we check these on the fly. As you can see, these ones are still going here. Um, and so obviously here, checkbook wallet, for example, there's only one green there and a lot of red. So the red, what we see here, the key at the bottom is, is registered. The, the green is available and unknown, obviously we're still, the, the searches are still going through for that one. Um, now, if you're colorblind, you may think, well, red and green, that doesn't help me very much. So you'll also notice that the tick boxes next to the registered domains, you can't select. So you can only select the domains that are available. Now, the reason why you can select domains is if you wanted to just add them to cart and just buy those domains straight away. But really, before you do that, one thing you want to do is actually look at the insight report for this for your specific niche keywords. So I'm going to just select this first one because there's a few greens there, uh, which is uh, ladies leather wallets, and it was a four star, so it was a, a reasonably good one. We've got a good bet here. Now, here we are in the insight report for our keyword ladies leather wallets. Now the first part. Um, which really kind of is the summary of everything is, is the important part we should really focus on when we first jump in here. And the, the first uh, part of four of those is the bits of content. So what we mean by that is, um, as you can see from the analysis below, it, it, are, are there products out there? Are there blogs? Are there images? Are there articles? Is, is this um, uh, a vibrant niche to get into? You know, is there a community? Is there a lot of blogs, people talking about it? Obviously, Blogs being good because you can come on there and get links and get traffic using that strategy. Images are good because if there are images, um, again, you, know, that you potentially get traffic from people looking into the area and looking for images on that topic. And, and obviously products is a, is a great one because that allows us to uh, monetize that by selling those types of products. So a high, any of the, anything that's a high content um, a, a high value in the number of bits of content is, is a positive. We want to see that as high as possible. Whereas the next box, the, com the competition box, we want to see this as low as possible. So this is absolutely perfect to have a PR zero. I'll jump into that in a second, but just to, uh, just to kind of carry on and, and with the rest of the summary. The next one we see is how much we can potentially make per day um, getting on the front page of Google for this keyword. So this is not massively high, um, obviously, five cents to forty-three cents, um, but there are other things we can do with that. So let's not kind of get completely discouraged by the price right now. And um, obviously, there's four domains available, so there's domains we can buy. The competition is 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 perfect in terms of it's, it's very low or very weak, and there's a lot of content. So obviously, our only weak point really is the the money per day now. The interesting thing is there's four domains available, so you could potentially just dominate this niche by buying all four, um, and potentially, you know, you're not quadrupling your cost as such because all the effort is into the kind of the research and producing the content. So with a little bit of twist and tweaking, you can have four unique domains dominating the niche rather than just one, and you know, only getting this. But you can times this by four, it makes it a little bit more interesting, you know, and you've got a few more linking strategies available. So. 
we can go further down into the content report, so on the insight report, um, once we've decided the, the summary at least kind of gives us that potential to. And again, obviously we can see the, the content analysis. We can see exactly where it's high. So the amount of products is, is perfect. Um, we can also see a, a, a summary of, of what we see, what we've discovered from the content analysis. So in this example, lots of media available for this niche, plenty of affiliate products to sell, lots of content available, should be easy to write for this niche. So if we did decide to go, go for, for the four domain option, then you know, um, lots, of, lots of options to fill all those four domains. Now this is the really nice uh, few, uh, um, few graphs we see here which is all about the competition. So the, the first one is obviously the page rank. So obviously the Google page rank of, of what Google perceives to be, you know, how important that site is on the web from zero to 10. So zero page rank sites should be very easy to beat because they're exactly on the same level as a domain you register today, that, which you sell with a, a zero page ranks. And, and it's up to you to kind of then put up from there. So we can see that positions two and three, when we search for your niche keyword, positions two and three in the search engines are PR zero sites. So that's awesome. So that's potential that you could be in position two or three quite easily um, because you, you obviously the, um, it's an easy niche to get into uh, as demonstrated by some PR zeros in there. Now we can see backlinks, how many other sites are linking to these sites. So, you know, obviously if we saw a lot of high backlinks, that would be um, an error, oh, sorry, that would be a reason not to enter the this niche because we would have to put a lot of work in to get a lot of backlinks just to even try and compete whereas we can see here the sites have got virtually no backlinks at all here we see the 500 mark you know and, and they're not even um, you know breaking the not even the 100 backlink mark so that's you know again weak competition very easily beatable and again we see very low index pages and even uh, we see some high ages but also some low ages in position two and seven so Based on all the competition here, we see the average um, of, of where we're likely to kind of come in. So based on all these factors, who is the weakest competition that we're likely to be able to beat? And we see here the lower, the kind of wherever we see pointing to. So a position two or seven. So really we could kind of, they're the weakest competition um, in, in the top, um, the top results for your, for your niche keyword. So really you could hit position two quite easily just by... Um, just by launching your site and being very you know, sniper-like and, and you know, such a niche with, with the domain name and, and the content and the, the kind of the focus of the site, very easily jump in there. Now here we see the discovery is obviously low PR, you have a, a good chance of ranking on the page, on the first page of Google for this keyword, in fact, a very good chance. And now here's the, the last part of the summary, um, which is the earning potential. So we see here how much it costs to buy the traffic for that keyword in Google, 71 cents. So it's not an expensive niche to buy traffic um, but we use that to extrapolate how much we're going to earn so obviously if it's not expensive to buy traffic equally the payouts aren't high either so our online earnings for every hundred visits we could expect to make 80 cents um, but more interestingly with Amazon for every hundred visits we could expect to make two dollars thirty now we saw when we looked at the content summary that there was a lot of affiliate products. Let's just jump back up there. A lot of affiliate products, 1,348 for this niche. Obviously, ladies leather wallets. Obviously, Amazon sells a lot of ladies leather wallets. So we could build a niche site focusing on the Amazon side, putting lots of Amazon products on there, and that will boost our, our, um, our revenue potential, our income potential, because we're looking at an average of $2.30 for every 100 visits rather than a, a Google AdSense-focused site, which would only get us 80 cents for every 100 visits and again the natural there's not a lot of traffic there which is obviously why um, our, our dailies don't look fantastic but if, if we're going to kind of totally dominate that niche this niche so certainly still a possibility um, now once you've decided you want to buy one of those domains or, or all of them or uh, whatever your strategy is simply just um, choosing the buy now and just adds that straight to your cart and here we can so now so I can actually go back if I wanted to buy more than one and say, right, okay, I would also like the org as well. I say, I'm just gonna go for the two of the four just to have um, a double up strategy. Um, and then I can literally tick and, and buy, and there I am. So that's um, 